Hello YouTube, this is 007 Sonic, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a few uh, desktop things on your desktop. Uh, yeah, and I guess I'm just going to start with Rocket Doc. It's kind of easy, just type in Google Rocket Doc. Like, for example, Rocket Doc. And go to the first one, and um, yeah, that's about it. It's all the way down here if you scroll, or actually, no, not all the way. All you do is go to download and download Rocket Doc. And you just set it up and then you play with it. And this is uh, it right here when you open it up. If you want to change some stuff for it, you can go over here to Doc Settings. Say if you want it to um, change your language and all this other crap in the general. Let's see, icons, you can do whatever, like, you see how this is on bubble right now. Say if I were to change it to plateau, it just, like, change it to something else, or flat. I like bubble more. And, um, uh, position, I honestly hate it at the top. Um, and if you get something like this, you just change the edge offset if you don't want it on top of that and uh... yeah and you got other places to put it um... style i think luminous is pretty good considering it's more like transparent um... you can change your font, I already changed my font to a font that i got called Nautikai and that text right there is what Nautikai looks like. Um, the behavior, uh, say if you wanted this to automatically hide and then pop up whenever your mouse goes over it or whatever. Yeah, there you go. And I don't like it doing that because it takes too long to come back. And um, yeah, that's Rocket Dock. And next we're going to move on to desk space this one is a good one this is a 3d desktop cube and considering you have to pay for it if any of you guys want it I'm just gonna put a link in the description for getting it and pretty much after you install it it's gonna show up in this um, menu most likely if you choose to run it after installing it if you don't choose to run it you're gonna have to go and find it in your computer wherever you installed it to but you uh, right click that and go to general options if you want to change some of the stuff because as soon as you run it it's going to here let me just show you what it's going to look like take all this stuff off change all this stuff back to how it was press ok it's going to look like this white screen really crappy yep nobody likes white screen really crappy um so you go to you go to configure you right click it configure general options uh display i usually change my opacity to about 50 nice good and transparent right there um skybox image and you can choose whatever thing you want your background to look like i usually choose 32 bit high quality not like it really makes that big of a difference. Um, you can choose smooth cube etching if you want to. I don't know. My video card, I guess, can handle it. I don't know. And uh, it doesn't really change anything on it. Let's see how it looks now. Yeah, it looks a lot nicer. You can also change the image for all of these, all the other desktops, by um, right clicking it, going to manage backgrounds and um, show a different desktop background on each desktop and there you go you just select your picture and save changes now we're going to move on to my actual entire Windows 7 theme um, or actually no let's not go to that yet I have another one I'm going to show you it's called Circle Doc it's not as good as most of these other ones, but um, I'm going to show you how to download it considering it's the most confusing thing ever. 
but you go to when you type in circle dot the first one should be circle dot dot wiki dot dot com go to downloads um and scroll down till you find this thing that says download circle dot uh zero point nine point two alpha blah 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 it'll take you to this page and it'll download in a couple of seconds I already have it so I'm not gonna worry about that um then you should run it and it should automatically be here like somewhere near the middle of the screen um you can drag in items or desktop images whatever you want to call them applications in here and yeah there you go and it'll show the picture of it sometimes things don't work and if it doesn't have the picture it'll just show a question mark after you do that considering I'm using a uh, laptop pad I can't scroll so say if you were to scroll on this it would spin all the stuff around in whichever direction you're scrolling you can also right click the giant circle in the middle it should be when you first install it a Windows 7 symbol and a plain looking background you can right click it go to settings and change all the stuff in here like say if you wanted it to toggle to where if you move your mouse all the way over here to the left side of the screen the right edge of the screen top edge of the screen bottom edge of the screen it'll show up um you can have it do that you can uh and that's just through the toggling right now considering for some reason it's not working when I do that um, I just press F1 to uh, show it um, you can change the this other stuff all this animation crap if you want to change the center button what it looked like you go to here press these little dots and choose whatever picture background do the same press the little dots choose picture um, and say if you wanted to change like the background and the uh all this stuff you want it to change the transparency you pretty much just go to that section normal opacity anything that says opacity or transparency that'll do it for you and uh that's circle doc I'm not gonna use that a lot because I don't like that one um go to now that uh showed you all that now I'm gonna get to my Windows 7 theme which is Alienware Breed theme I believe uh, you just want to first off get Stardock my colors because without that you most likely will not be able to um, install the theme then you want to type in um, in Google Stardock my colors download and it should be the soft tonic one that you should go to find that to be the easiest one you pretty much free download click that big old free download button two times download is starting it'll have a little pop up it's probably going to pop up in a second here yep I already have it so I don't need to go and worry about all that and then you just install it from there and um then you want to go to this site which took me forever to find so I'm just gonna post the link in the description for you you uh, go and download from here it'll give you a w g u i s c dot zip file um, if you want the breed if you want any of the other ones I think Xenomorph looks amazing but I don't have Windows XP so I can't exactly use that one you uh, click on those ones and then you download those ones also you can download some media player um, skins and I'll show you how to install those also in a second you can get wallpapers and whatnot from this one site I'm going to put in the description also if you wanted some other special themes you can go to the skins factory where they have a lot of themes that are actually really cool looking um, you want to go to their site and I think you yeah you go to portfolio this little portfolio up here and then you got all your different crap up here that you can do like media player skins that are other than alienware like say if you wanted this one like this one looks really cool you can um, 
just go here and click this download button right here it's kinda hard to find so I thought I'd show you in case you did go to this website and uh, now that we've got all our stuff ready and set you should have already installed um, my colors Stardock and then after you had downloaded it, the Alienware file for the Alienware GYSC file or the zip file, um, go and open it up. Go to whatever system you're running. I'm running Windows 7, so I'd go to that. Open this up. It's gonna take a second, and then you just pretty much run the setup. It's the executable file .exe. At the end of it, yep, you want to run that, and it should install it for you. If it does not automatically apply it for you, you want to go to computer, go to your um, local disk or your system, your hard drive, pretty much. Um, double click program files, go to Stardock, My Colors, scroll down till you find Theme Manager or Theme MGR. Uh, then just apply it from there and it should apply it for you. Now if you want to figure out how to install your media player skin that you just downloaded if you were to download one, you just go to program files and um, if you're running a 64-bit uh, you should have two program files folders one should be times 86 the other one should be just program files just go to program files that's the one you wanna go to because that one actually has the uh, right stuff then you go to windows media player double click on skins and from here you just pretty much just drag in that file that you just downloaded out of the zip um, so since I already downloaded my a different one this one's alien morph I'm just gonna find it and go back to program files windows media player skins drag this in here and then you want to double click it wait for it to load up and you should be prompted by window saying blah 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 yep and you can choose view now that was my old one that was invader I like invader a lot invader is pretty cool I thought this one was pretty interesting though so I decided to go get this one also yep and from here you can just pretty much do whatever if you want it back your old um your old windows media player look and you just go to revert and it brings back the old one that's not actually how the old one looks the old one actually looks a lot different than that um i guess since i didn't update anything right now i don't have the old or the newer old one but um yeah uh so yeah and that's pretty much it all the stuff that i have right now that's like a desktop gadget um so yeah i guess that's about it for you guys uh hope this helped you guys out in figuring out how to install and get this cool looking stuff for your desktop and i'll see you guys later